may be cold outside, but our next guests are bringing the heat. They are from the Real Housewives of Miami, so naturally, mm -hmm. they're bringing all that glitz and glam. That's right. There are only two episodes left this season, and when we last saw the Housewives, they were celebrating Pride in Mexico. Gosh, I'm getting down to the wire now. I'm super, super nervous right now. The chances of something going wrong is very high because there was no time to prepare. Right. Now I'm starting to shake now. Oh my God. I'm worried that as they lift me, I don't land properly and I'm gonna look like a turkey just was killed on Thanksgiving day. This could be the end of a beautiful career that Emilio has planned out for me. So I really, really cannot mess this up. Oh. I already know this is going to be funny because the know. two of them are already busting each other's chops, which is fantastic. <laughs> Joining us are two <laughs> of the housewives, Adriana de Maura and Julia Limagova. Hello to both of you. Welcome to New York Living. Hello, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for not keeping my yipik down in Miami. I was, you know. Right. I might, I might uh, <laughs> sneak in their luggage to go back when we're done here. <laughs> what a juxtaposition. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you cannot wait to get back. I actually enjoyed the difference. You know, Miami is hot year round, so getting a little bit of snow to us is always exciting. Yeah. So. Oh, well, you know, when you look at it that way, yeah. I guess yeah. it makes Last sense. And I was born in Moscow, so seeing the flow this is of snow flakes, it's like, ooh, I'm back <laughs> where I was born. Oh my gosh. I'm so, back. Th yeah, this is nothing for you. Adriana, let's start with that clip. Uh, you got to perform at a Pride Festival in yes. Mexico. How was that? It was such an incredible experience. You know, one of the biggest Pride, uh, Pride concerts in the world, mm -hmm. and it was nerve-wracking, but beautiful, unforgettable. You know, just seeing the sea of people that covered the entire historical center of Mexico right. was such an, an incredible experience. So yeah. proud of my bestie. Oh. <laughs> so now, we were laughing before because we were asking how they wanted their, the names pronounced, yes. and you said to make sure you spell it right, not like me, because I spelled the name wrong. <laughs> Sign. So oh, I'm usually the queen of misspelling and oh, dyslexing really? the words. Yes, I still have Adriana's name in my phone. I swear to God, <laughs> spelled with an I. <laughs> and just now, I was watching the clip, and I think I did two arrows in that. You know that it just yeah. hit me now that you said Andriana. I put the she, N there. She, she added an N and like a double fold. <laughs> but you still it's love right. her. I still love her. I mean, like. That's all right. At I least you did the sign for me, right? That's right. That's nice. It's the yeah, thought right. that counts. Yeah. So, Julie, what was your Pride experience like? Oh, my God. My, actually, my first Pride ever was in New York oh, okay. when I was pregnant with my daughter, who's now 22. So oh that was, gosh. like, the most incredible <laughs> experience. And seeing my bestie being there out there on the stage in front of, like, thousands, hundreds and thousands of people, mm -hmm. and she had it so together. She mm. gave it her best, and I saw the people mm. clapping and singing, and we all were rooting for her and dancing. It was amazing. Oh, my Thank gosh. You, yeah. I love you even more now. Oh, <laughs> my God. I, I'm like, you're describing that, and I'm, my palms are sweating for you. Were you nervous? Oh, I was so nervous. I usually never get nervous, but that day I was very nervous. I was even saying a prayer to Guadalupe, you know. The <laughs> <laughs> you gotta bring Guadalupe in. For if you gotta yeah. hark in Guadalupe, you nervous. <laughs> right? I was like, but she helped me. She it, did. Like, I, she I was able to perform. I pulled it off, and that was all an amazing experience. Was that more nerve-wracking than having being microphoned and having cameras follow your every step? Oh yeah, more yeah, because you have one shot, and it's thousands of people. Cameras are also there, but then you have thousands of people and then so if you mess up it's it's gonna be a viral mess up <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's very nerve -wracking. no pressure no, no pressure so we mentioned there are two episodes left mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what can we expect I if I know anything about the housewives we should look at her face we're going out with a bang mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah tell us oh, about yeah it. tell us what you can Yes, yeah. we can. Well, no drama at all, right? It's going to be so quiet and so <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> then it would be another show. Exactly. Right. It yeah. would not yeah. be yeah. the Housewives. Exactly. Yes. No, it, it would was not be fun. The yeah. Yeah. So Keep my watch. For me, the big finale. It's actually my performance again with Emilio Stefan. Oh my God. Where we actually got, you know, his hotel Cardozo in Miami, and we made this whole Havana night. So dropping the new song, releasing, you know, the song that he's produced, you know, for me, with me. And uh, so it's a big moment, again, mm -hmm. to have, you know, a 22-time 22, 22 win Grammy winner 
producing me and then we have mm -hmm. this big unveiling of the song and of course again my friends are there supporting and rooting and so that's a big finale I think to me it's particularly good yeah yeah <laughs> All right, but so, you know, the arc of, of any singular season of any of the housewives, it's always filled with these ups and these downs and these ups and these downs. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you, because we know that you and your wife, Martina, um, who's an idol of mine, um, struggled through some, some cancer uh, scares. And I wonder how she is doing and how you, how you managed through that, that chapter. It was very challenging, but Martina is a champion and she's my champion. I've seen her um, rising up and, uh, you know, it was difficult, I'm not going to lie, it's so emotional. But being there for her, for me the hardest thing was not to add to her stress by showing her mm. my expression in the eyes, how scared I was. And uh, because, you know, cancer knocked on our door not once, but twice, twice. this year. But she's a champion and on court and in life, and we battled through it. She's cancer free today, and we're living day by day. Yes. I always <laughs> used to like sweep things for the future tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I don't want to know about tomorrow. I live today, <sighs> like today. Whatever I'm lazy, I used to be lazy to do, yeah. and I was, I'll do it another time. Never. I changed completely my, I've cut my hair. <laughs> I like pushed myself out of my comfort zone, literally, and I don't put anything for tomorrow. It's only today. Yeah. Oh my God. We Wait, were just talking about exactly so living we, in the moment, and it's you very difficult. You have to live for the now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay present. And that's all you yeah. can do. Yeah. Should we ask him about the reunion? I was just going to say oh. we, saw, we, we got some some first looks. <laughs> oh yes. The fashion. Yeah. The fabulosity of it all. Because you can't show up to the reunion no. and just any old thing. It's, it's it's its own fashion week. What's happening over here? What is what is going on here? Look at this Frida Kahlo for me. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, my inspiration was Frida Kahlo because you know. I'm, I'm an art dealer and art has always had such an impact for me and Frida Kahlo has always been an inspiration you know the resilience you know the creativity the originality so we were in Mexico and I, it's only fitting that I do Frida Kahlo as my inspo for my outfit Fantastic. I love that mm -hmm. iconic yeah and yeah Julia, time just about yours and for me it was well I wore it by my favorite design and a best yeah, friend there, there Naeem Khan so oh my God. this was for me a fashion meets passion I just oh made it up, but it's actually. Oh, I gave you the chills there. But it's not actually, you know, it's, it is. And like you see, animal print, and I have a farm and lots of animals, so it's like homage to my animal, <laughs> animals and uh, fashion meets passion. I yeah. never met a leopard print I didn't like, <laughs> so I love it. Uh, Ooh, and I've got my snake skins on. We, we were love it. This <laughs> doesn't cost as much as your designer, but here we are. <laughs> so, can you tell us who's going to be in the hot seat for the reunion? Well, I think it's. It's kind of obvious that what was what was going on it wasn't with, me. Uh, <laughs> with Diana, she's like that's with, all that matters for once. with Larsa and Gertie. For once. You know, you kind of expect this to be hopefully resolved, mm -hmm. and then you will, you know, have to watch and see. And then, you know, Lisa also had some situations during this season, and um, uh, that's what the reunion is for yeah. mm -hmm. to see what we can do and how can we move forward. This yeah, is it's going to be fire. I can't it's going to be fire. You guys need to watch it. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. <laughs> Thank we'll you both to. for braving the storm. Thank you. And spending some time with us this morning. We love it. It's a pleasure. It's Thank a you. Pleasure. And Please come, come back to my I time. will. We got to talk about the places I went to eat. I got to get your wreck. Okay. Right. I'll be That's back. Right. I might have to buy some real estate down there. I love it. <laughs>